ya. The scavenger's mecca on Bougainville is the Panguna mine itself and the town built to house its workers. After devastating it to make sure the miners never returned, Francis and his fellow villagers ended up having to go back to salvage anything not rooted in concrete. Because along with getting the Bougainvillians to start from scratch with food and medicine, the PNGDF also burnt down many of their houses and gave them that problem to solve. We have to uh, make our own locks. So what we do is we go down to Pankuna and get uh, all the locks and uh, uh, strip them out and uh, uh, make our own uh, keys using all the rubbish from the Panguna mine we can build a uh, good houses as you can see uh, bits and uh, pieces of light lighting up uh, houses uh, switch boxes I know these people can make something out of nothing but I still can't work out how they can light whole villages William laughs and takes us to his local workshop. As you see, all, all the parts and all the machines, like a water pump, it's a barbed wire. We've got something to do with it. Because some people, they might throw it away. We don't. We collect parts. We can make things out of it. The islanders have dragged the mine's debris, sometimes for weeks across the mountains, to create this sort of setup. And it's in places like this that they've cobbled together their own ecological power supply hydroelectricity. Okay, these are the um, intake uh, pipes for the hydro and from there it goes right down to the uh, generator itself. After uh, Papua New Guinea government has blockaded us, and then um, you know we couldn't have any um, petrol or diesel, we have to develop something to get um, power supply. And we, yeah, we got uh, this mini hydro um, using all the um, rubbish or the pipes and um, spare parts from uh, all cars. We managed to develop our own um, hydro, which. Um, we can use for lighting up all the villages. We got about um, 50 to 60 and now running this type of uh, small hydros. Down, down there where the PNCDF uh, establishment, there is virtually uh, not much uh, lighting up, no electricity. Um, maybe it's sort of um, uh, money or something for, you know, to run those um, generators. But here in the bush, we can have uh, hydro going for 24 hours a day. I think with the blockade still on, that would be very nice.